Okay, after another 12 hours, I've refreshed the page again and my balance had increased by 1.2 in total. Like, that's fantastic. Especially since I wasn't involved in the process at all. Hello, I am Mariah and I have been a solidarity developer for five years. Now, for the past few months, I tried to create this button, but my attempts were unsuccessful and I only wasted money and time. But then I turned to AI for help and my results changed dramatically. So now I want to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own bot and achieve the same results as me. If you are new to this field, keep in mind to avoid scammers, never send your money to strangers and don't use exchanges or websites you are not familiar with. Always use only official websites. Now let's get started. So our bot works using the sandwich strategy. Here's how it works in the simplest terms. It connects to the most famous DEXs and watches for transactions that are about to happen. Then it quickly makes its own transaction with a higher fee, so it goes first, changing the price in a way that makes a profit. If this sounds complicated, don't worry. It's actually very simple. And if you want a more detailed explanation, you can check the description. So I've been using this bot for a few weeks and you don't need to know how to code to use it. Just follow along with me. So first you need to install a wallet extension in your browser. You can use any, but I would choose MetaMask and you're gonna find the links in the description. Now they all work on the same principle. The the only difference is the interface. So next, you need to copy the bot's source code, which I have also linked in the description. And after that, we need to go to Remix, the site we will use to deploy our bot. Only use the official site, okay? It's completely safe and it will not allow you to perform any suspicious operations. The link is also below. So now we need to create a new file, which you can name, well, anything you like. When an alert pops up, after pasting the code, read it, click OK, and then review the code for yourself. So before starting, you can read the user guide to ensure everything works as it should. Your balance should be at least 0.5 ETH. Otherwise, the smart contract will not have enough funds to process transactions. Again, you can find the calculation table in the video description. So make sure your wallet is connected to the mainnet and has more than zero 0.5 on its balance then go to the compiler tab and enable the gas optimization and then click the compile button so head over to the deploy and run transactions section choose your wallet's injected provider from the environmental tab and ensure the wallet connection once it's successfully linked and then click on deploy so I suggest setting the gas price a bit higher, but it doesn't cost much more, but it will actually speed up the transaction a lot. So now wait for your bot to deploy. And once it's done, check the terminal for a message indicating it's deployed, click on it and copy the transaction hash. Next, verify on Etherscan to ensure your bot has been deployed successfully. If the transaction status shows as successful, um, your smart contract, there you go, is up and running. So click on the bot contract in the same window to view detailed information about your bot, including its trading balance and all set. So now return to Remix and explore the bot's main menu. So here's a quick overview of what each button on the bot interface does set trade balance. This sets the amount that you want to use for work. Set trade balance percent. This sets the percent of your total wallet balance that you want to use for work. Now start native. This button starts the work. Stop. This button stops the work. And withdraw. This allows you to transfer any results from your bot contracts back to your wallet. Next, I will use the key button to copy the API key. I will scroll up, paste this key numbers into the value tab and set the bot's trading deposit to 1 ETH. Then I'll click start native and the smart contract will then scan the entire wallet. So make sure you are connected to the Ethereum mainnet. 
after starting? Well, we will go to the Etherscan to wait for the transaction to be confirmed. And it will show that the bot now has exactly one TH for trading, while the rest remains in my wallet. So we will wait and let's review the results after 12 and 24 hours to see what outcome we've achieved. Right, okay, so this is after 12 hours. We've refreshed the page and it showed that my balance has increased by 0 0.48. Like, wow, <laughs> that's quite impressive. Okay, after another 12 hours, I've refreshed the page again and my balance had increased by 1.2 in total. Like, that's fantastic especially since I wasn't involved in the process at all. So now let's transfer our balance back into the wallet. I'll click stop, set the gas price higher to speed up the transaction as before and confirm it. And once it shows in the terminal, I'll press the withdraw button. Again, I'll set the gas price high, confirm the transaction and wait for it to show in the terminal. Just like that, we've successfully moved the funds from the bot smart contract back to my wallet. Next, check Etherscan to see your bot contract. So right now, the bot balance is zero. So refresh the page to get the latest updates. Currently, I'm offering my bot for free to demonstrate how well it works. However, this free version will only be available for three weeks. And after that, I'll be closing the free access and the API key won't work anymore. Then using the bot will cost $2,500 per week. So take advantage of this opportunity while it's available. If you encounter any errors after deploying the contract, I'll help you fix them now. Okay, so a common issue occurs when Remix can't calculate the transaction fee. This often happens if more than 10 minutes passes after deploying, causing Remix to lose connection with the bot code. So to fix this, you might need to reconnect to the contract or set up a new one. Let's quickly reconnect to the contract and here's a step-by-step -step guide. So refresh your page and open the contract file such as as bot.sol, navigate to the compiler tab, sorry, and enable optimization and click compile. Next, go to the deploy and run transaction tab. Obtain the address of your smart contract. Now in the environmental tab, select injected provider MetaMask and paste your contract's address into the at address field. Click on it to access the bot control menu again. Follow the remaining instructions provided and this should resolve most issues. If it doesn't work and you are encountering issues with gas fees, try to proceed more quickly or contact me via the telegram link in the description below and I'll assist you. Thank you for watching and I hope this video was helpful. If you are interested in more information about Web3, consider subscribing. Take care and Goodbye.